So this video is going to serve as a quick introduction to depth maps and the Cityscapes data set. So the Cityscapes data set has about 5,000 high quality labeled images with segmentation and depth maps. And you can download it on their website after you create an account. It also has a toolkit that allows for easy use of uh, the data set. So in this case, we're not going to use the toolkit, but we're going to work with the data set from scratch and we're going to make a quick data loader to visualize it. So here's the data loader. It's not even a PyTorch data loader. We just take the root data set, get the RGB, the mask, and the disparity. And I've downloaded it to my own computer and I have it in this folder structure called Cityscapes with disparity, ground truth segmentation, and RGB images and train test and validation in each one of those folders. So right here's an example. Here's the RGB image. Here's our segmentation mask, which we're not going to really worry about in this video. And here's the main part of this video, the depth mask. So these depth masks are generated using um, stereo SGBM, which is a, just a classic stereo depth estimation alg algorithm with a stereo camera, two, so two different cameras, and we can see it's pretty noisy. We have this artifact here to the left, which is just a, a typical of any SGBM depth estimation, and this bottom part right here, we have a very close object, and due to this, you know, limitations of this algorithm, it actually looks like there's two of them here, when in reality there's only one, and this is really not good for any kind of computer vision model. And to further this right here, we have these patches right here, these splotches. So these splotches are actually correspond to infinite depth, which is a further um, source of even more noise that can corrupt our algorithm that's going to be learning from this data. So we're going to go ahead and make a pipeline to actually obtain this depth algorithm. Now this right here is the disparity, but it's inversely proportional to the depth. And we'll see how to calculate it right here. So essentially we want to crop this noisy bottom part and we're actually going to crop the side part right here and even this top part right here and resize the image into the um, original size to match with the RGB image. So a lot of depth estimation papers, they actually crop this bottom 80% right here. We're going to follow that and then additionally crop this out right here. We're going to do something called image impanding to further you know, reduce the noise, and we're also going to blur it to kind of smooth everything out together. We have to scale it to get the true disparity, scale this disparity to get the true disparity values. It's, um, it's a pretty simple couple lines of code that actually come from the Cityscapes toolbox. And now to actually compute the depth, we're going to do use this formula here. So we're, we have baseline times, which is the distance between the two stereo cameras, times the focal length and pixels of the camera, divided by the disparity, which is also in pixels. So we divide every pixel in here, which is where the inverse proportionality comes from. So we have pixels over pixels and meters, which gives us depth in meters. And then finally, we clip it from 0 to 500, not really interested in things that are super far away when it comes to estimating depth, especially from stereo vision. And if anything, I would say 500 is kind of pushing it. We might even want to clip it to something like 300. So let's go over this pipeline. So first we're going to want to crop this noisy part of the image. We're going to get our shape and we're going to get our new width and height right here. And we're basically going to use the CV2 resize function. We're going to take our cropped out disparity, so we crop out a little bit of the top, 80% of the bottom, and then a little bit of the side and resize it to the original size. And here we use something called, I've just commented out, but we're going to um, do something called the impact. Now this is actually computationally expensive, so you might not always want to use this, but and essentially, we impaint everything that's less than or equal to one. So all the stuff that is, you know, right here, we're going to impaint this. We're going to impaint all this stuff right here and all this noisy stuff. And I would recommend that you look at the OpenCV docs to learn more about this function. So after we impaint, we're going to just do a little bit of blurring. I chose medium blur, blur arbitrarily. 
but it seems to work okay. And now we're going to scale it to get the true disparity. So we're going to make sure to convert it to a float 32. And we're going to use this thing right here. So everything that's greater than 0, we subtract 1 and divide by 256. And according to the, the Cityscape Toolkit, this is how you get the true disparity. And also, and the Cityscape Toolkit, this is also, and I believe it's in the paper. And I think there's also a PDF in the um, Cityscape scripts. You can look at it here. Uh, it's linked in the notebook. This is the X focal length, and this is the horizontal Y focal length. Uh, most people in the Cityscape scripts GitHub issues page seem to use this, this one right here. So I've chosen to use this right here, but they're both pretty similar, and you'll get similar answers for the depth no matter which one you use. And here's the baseline distance between both stereo cameras. So this is how you'll get the depth. And then finally, we clip it all together. So let me go ahead and run all this. Oh, here we go. So you can see we're taking a lot of time to impan it. We could actually counter this by resizing it to a smaller size and then scaling it back up. So right here, you can see a pretty nice and smooth depth. So let's put this all together in a function. So right here I have this function called compute depth right here. It's the same thing we did. We just package it all into a function. And we're going to make impanning optional since it takes so much time. So new data set. Now, in this case, we're going to compute the depth without um, any any kind of resizing. We just get the original disparity, compute the depth. We're going to do it without impanning here and with impanning here. And it's a nice, just a different different view without any color mapping of the depth. And right here is just a comparison of everything. So we have the original image, the depth that comes from straight from the raw disparity. You can see how noisy it is, especially this right here. And you have the smooth depth without any impainting, but it still has these splotches right here, which are infinite um, depth, which is not you know, not accurate compared to the real real um, ground truth. And you can clearly see here, you know, this doesn't go infinite. There's a building right behind it. So right here is what the impainting gets us. It gets us a nice, high-quality image. So this is how essentially how you make good quality depth maps to train models that can take this data and learn to do something like monocular depth estimation, or you can even feed these, this to some kind of robotic system in real time. So all right, that's all for this. Hope you learned a little bit. I'll see you in the next one.